Parliament Square was brought to a standstill as hundreds of black cabs parked up in protest against TfL and the Mayor of London's new pedestrianisation plans. Areas of London are going to be banned to black cabs and I spoke to Sean Paul Day, the Independent Taxi Alliance's official spokesman. And we've driven into Parliament Square. This is the seventh week of protesting now. Uh, we've come here to put pressure on the government, to put pressure on TfL and to put pressure on the mayor because they are stopping us from going into certain areas, certain roads or putting restrictions on, which means we'd have to go the long way round. Areas of London, including Judd Street by King's Cross, have already seen the changes implemented. However, plans to pedestrianise areas like Tottenham Court Road and Tooley Street at London Bridge are causing grave concern for taxi drivers everywhere. I mean, the passenger suffers because they're forced into these roads which are inefficient, time inefficient and uh, cost inefficient, you could say. So they're more costly. And I think it firmly lies with TfL. TfL are doing have a strategy and the mayor has the mayor's transport strategy and taxes have been left out. But when you've got taxes that are being governed by TfL, which is a, a bus company men, and when you have local authorities that are being uh, governed by cyclists, it's no surprise, is it, that the taxi trade is having a hard time. There are a great deal of taxi alliances, with many people arguing that the lack of unity between them means they struggle to get their message across in situations like this. However, regarding the pedestrianisation scheme, TfL had this to say. The Mayor's Healthy Streets programme is making London safer, more attractive and accessible, enabling Londoners and visitors to walk, enjoy and shop in the streets safely. Police have commended the behaviour of the taxi drivers in what is a totally legal protest that shows no signs of stopping.